Of course, I'm gonna hide his face because if ain't no ring on my finger, you ain't going on the ground. I, I think it's strange when people add people that they know they don't like or they know that don't like them on social media. That's sociopathic. Please stop. If you feel like they should have told you happy motherfucking Kwanzaa or happy Arbor Day and they didn't, you wanna cut them off snip snip? I never did. I never talk about me. I always talk about these niggas cheating on me, but I never talked about me cheating on these niggas. Interesting. I don't give a fuck if we just got married yesterday. I'm going tomorrow. If you're looking for a winner, love, looking for a dancer, looking for supreme, looking for a queen. I'm recording. I'm recording. Why I look so white? Let me get myself a little color, baby. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to another day with Shay. If you're new here, please be sure to hit subscribe button and the notification bell. What if you're OG? If you're part of the Greenwood gang, what it do? How are you? Okay, so y'all. I'm back with a... <laughs> I'm back with another video. First of all, if you do not know, my name is Lachey. I am the owner, founder, and CEO of The Main Attraction. We sell all natural hair care, skincare, and body care products. And yeah, let's just get into it. Period. Okay, so y'all, today we're filming a girl talk. And I want to film these like once a week. I say every Wednesday because we can do like a wind down Wednesday. It's currently Saturday. Um... And so y'all can go grab your drinks. Feel free to always leave your comments, your thoughts, your opinions in the comments so that we can talk about it. And also comment down below what you would like for me to film. Comment down below what you would like um, me to talk about on the next girl talk. Like I need more topics. Okay, so the very first topic we're going to talk about is dating again. Got a man, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. Your girl finally got a man. It has been, y'all know, if you don't know, I have been single for four years. I've been dating and dibbling and dabbling. And I'm going to read y'all a post that I made on Facebook just to kind of like my personal advice. And then we'll talk about it. Because it had the girls, it had the girls, um, what's the word? Tussling. Okay, so one of the posts that I made said, I'm going to start and then I'll show y'all kind of the picture. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Am I crooked? <laughs> this is the day he asked me to be his girlfriend of course i'm gonna hide his face because if ain't no ring on my finger you ain't going on the ground i got got twice baby and i'm gonna i'm gonna fight about this one yeah okay so it says my advice that great Date. Date to marry. Date to have fun. Date to see what you like. Date to see what you don't like. Date to explore your options. Date to get to know yourself. Date to create your own boundaries. Date people you're attracted to and maybe even the ones that you're that aren't as attractive but have a good heart. Date to find your person and the one who meets all your standards and expectations and do it all without regrets. People will wonder why they have you have a new man or woman every time they see you. But the truth is, it's none of their business. After four years of being single, I finally found my person. I say that to say this, don't ever settle. People say I'm a picky person and that's so true, but don't settle to meet their standards. Date until you found someone who chooses you and only you every day. Date until you found the person that makes you happier than ever. Date until you found your home. Date until you find someone who can't go hours without speaking to you. Date until you found someone who chases you and longs for your presence. Date until you found someone who is patient, kind, and always puts you before themselves. Date until you found the man that meets all of your standards, no matter how impossible it seems and no matter how long it takes. Date until you found your successful black king with no kids, whatever they may look, whatever that may look like for you. I got mine. Period. Okay, we're gonna drink to that. Cheers, cheers, y'all. Mmm. So your girl has got a man. So I kind of want to come give my advice and my opinions. And I know a few people was confused about that. But basically, and this is what I did. Just date. Like, um, I dated people that I wasn't attracted to. And okay, so to me personally, dating isn't like serial dating. You're dating multiple people just to kind of find out what you like, what you don't like, what you're going to accept, what you can deal with. And, you know, just to create your own standards, boundaries, and expectations, right? That's not being in a relationship. So I've dated many people like during this four year period. <laughs> um, 
And my one piece of advice that I love to give to people is just to date, bro. Like, I'm not into the dating apps. I don't do them. You can if you, you know, would like to, but go to a bar, sit down and have a drink by yourself. Go out to eat, do things alone and put yourself in the presence of, you know, possibly, like possibly meeting people. If you know what I mean. I'm going to do a different video on how me and my boyfriend met. If you would like to see that, comment down below. I'm trying to get them on YouTube, y'all. I want us to film a truth or drink. So, also make sure that you're thinking of some juicy questions. We'll probably do that next weekend. So, I really want to film a truth or drink with him. And like a, kind of like a boyfriend tag or whatever. So, yeah. So, what I, my advice is just to date. Like, I dated people I wasn't attracted to. I was attracted to people who I've... My thing and my top three expectations for my man was that he had to, I wanted someone who had no kids. So he could not have absolutely no kids. I wanted a black man. Cause I'm black. Oh my God. Yeah. I also wanted someone who was successful and educated and made at least like six figures a year. You know, just because y'all know. But, um, so those are three of my biggest th things. I wanted a man that was like God fearing and just so patient and God, I don't want to cry. Y'all, I don't want to cry. Oh my God. What the f is wrong with me, bro? Like, I'm getting teary eyed talking about it because it's been a long journey. Woo! Hold on. But you a G, what the fuck? It's been a long four years and I, it was to a point where like, I genuinely got content with never finding anybody. And as y'all know, I bought my house and I did everything alone. I bought 10 acres of land by myself in my own name, no cosign, just me. No kids, no, no man, nothing. I bought my own house. You know, I did the warehouse for my business. I started a business, um, a successful business. And people were like, why are you buying a big house? for just yourself and one thing that i know is that god favors me and so i know that he'll always give me the desires of my heart and i'm very careful with what i say and how i say things because there's power in my tongue and so people will be like oh you don't have a man why are you buying a house i don't have a man yet but i need to make room i'm gonna prepare i'm not gonna wait because regardless if i never had found my boyfriend i'm not gonna be at my mama's house till i'm 30 just because i ain't got a man Life doesn't stop. Life goes on. And it's, it baffles me that people are in such a small mindset to think like that. Like, you need a man just to buy land. Or you need a man to buy you a house. I mean, you know what I mean? To buy a house. People are weird. So, my advice is to make sure you get your shit together. Get on your grind. And do... Be at your highest self. Before you... Gotta keep picking that bottle up. Be... I want to be at my highest... The highest version of myself. So, for me, that was... And, you know, starting my business, working for myself and having freedom, creating a life, the life of my dreams, literally, literally. Um, that was me buying land, 10 acres. That was me buying a house. Um, and as y'all know, I do have a mobile home. My house tour is up on my YouTube somewhere. And I did the mobile home because I was really, 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 really desperate to move out of my mom's house. I had to go. Um, and so... Yeah, I gave myself three to five years to build my dream home. And so I look, I'm so, 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 and it actually is going to end up being sooner than that. But I just needed something for right now, something, you know, of my own. So make sure that you're just doing the best you can with what you got, which is yourself. So do show out for yourself. Don't wait for a man to live your best life or don't wait for a man to give you the life you deserve. I used to be the type to want a rich man. Couldn't find one, so I became a rich man. You know what I mean? So, you don't need a man to be rich. You can get rich on your own. And, you know, just to, that's why I set a standard to, like, he had to make six figures just because I wanted a man that would be able to support my lifestyle and his because I know I can support my lifestyle and his. You know what I mean? And then I wanted our kids to have that solid foundation, and I got big dreams. So, like, with building my house and stuff, so, I'm so excited, but... Yeah, y'all, so that would be my number, um, my second advice. The first one is to just serial date. So that you can find out what you like, what you accept, what's, what's your red flags, what's some things you look for in your forever partner. And, you know, second one would be to, of course, make sure that you're at your highest level of success. 
So make sure whatever that looks like. Graduate, make sure you graduate college if that's for you. I don't know what your you know what success looks like for you. It's different for everybody. But for me, it was being a home owner before 25. Yada yada yada. And three is just prayer. So I don't know if y'all are like faith based, but if you ain't, then. Okay, but if you are, then um, write the vision and make it plain. So one of the things that I did was like, um, actually, oh, I have a prayer journal. I write in my prayer journal. I don't gonna say every day. I try every day, but at least a few times a week. And so in that prayer journal, I'll be like, I'll write down all the qualities I want for my man, all the qualities that I don't want. And so it is. And ask you, ask, believe, and you shall receive. So you can't ask something for God and then like. You know what I'm saying? Not believe he's going to give it to you. If you ask for it, believe that it's coming and then you'll receive it. It's already on the way. Period. And the way me and my boyfriend met was so... So unexpected. So strange. And I can't wait for us to tell y'all the story. Like, I cannot wait for y'all to know the story or how we met. I'm super excited for him. But, you know, he his face isn't going to be on camera. But he's going to be sitting here, like, out of the frame. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because I'm if I ain't no ring on his finger. Nah. Oh, also, don't lower your standards. Like I said, it took me four years to find a man. Do not get discouraged. Like, what is it? Don't grow weary and well doing or something like that. Yeah. So, just keep going. Keep pushing. It's gonna happen for you. Have faith. No matter how dark it may look, cause I had to go through a lot of men. And my family seen me with quite a few. But it's like, baby, I'm Lori Harvey. Okay, that's why I I I I adore Lori because she's not scared of like what other people think. She's doing what's best for her and what she should be doing at her age. She's younger than me. I think she's like 24, 25. So she's dating to see what she likes. And if she can't, you know, if I can't see my life with you or something like that, then on to the next. One monkey don't stop no show, period. Okay, y'all. So moving on, we're going to do three topics. The first one was relationships or me dating. I just want y'all to know I have a man. So I want y'all to please comment down below video ideas. Like, um, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook so that you can leave me truth or drink questions. Because I'm trying to get him drunk. I'm going to tell the truth. I ain't going to really be drinking like that. And I also want to do a boyfriend tag. But if there's other challenges or other things you would like for me to do with him on my YouTube channel, comment down below. Um, the second one is going to be fake friends. And I'm going to just breeze through this real quick. And then the third topic is going to be... Um, no, what should the third topic be? Y'all send me a lot of topics. Let me see. Okay, so fake friends. I don't have many friends. Like, if I can count... Let me count. I would say I have five solid friends, maybe six, 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 seven, if it's a straight, like, okay, so I have, I'm going to have eight bridesmaids, right? <laughs> I'm going to have eight bridesmaids um, whenever I get married, so I would say I have like five to six really, really solid, really good friends, and then the rest of people are like acquaintances and people I'm cool with. Y'all, I don't know if y'all heard, y'all heard about the, the girl that got killed in Mexico or whatever, Make sure and be cautious of who you keep around you. And this is another post I made because I the girl been Facebooking. Period. Say. Yes. Why is Kate back with the body? Okay, here I come. Tell her here I come. Yeah, okay, let me tell y'all the post I made. And it's just really like this. My advice, let them go. Friends that don't show up, let them go. Partner that doesn't love you like they should, let them go. People that only call when they need something, let them go. Family that doesn't respect your boundaries, let them go. Stressful job, let them go. Feeling jealous or envious in energy from those around you, let them go. I don't care how petty the situation is or how much you love them. If it doesn't sit right in your spirit, let them go. Nothing is worth your peace. It's something that you can't buy. Acknowledge that the time is up and it's time to move onward and upward. Life is too short. One thing about me, oh, I'm going to move on and find people that are meant to be and deserve to be in my life. I hope you do the same. That's all for now, Miss Greenwood. And so, this was my Facebook post. Um, and so, to me, this means just moving on and letting go of, even if that's toxic friendships. And a lot of people ask me to touch on friendships. Um, I understand, like, some people have a harder time moving on from friends. But me, oh, I'm a step. Even with relationships, family, friends, because I'm not about to be stressed and I'm not about to be questioning your intentions or questioning your loyalty because I know how I am. I'm a damn good friend. Like, 
you can I I can count on one like there's two instances I know where I have not been a good friend to those people um but repeatedly if someone is repeatedly showing you that they're not a good friend let them go let them go and I, I understand like sometimes friendship breakups can hurt more than relationship breakups but to me I would rather have like two solid quality friends instead of like 20 you know what I'm saying quantity just people who don't have my best intentions or care about me at you know deep at, at heart you know what I'm saying so make sure that you're always keeping an eye out like of who you surround yourself with because everybody no like nowadays I feel like it's so weird no one wants to see you doing good y'all know what 50 Cent was like um what's that song on in the club I don't know but when you make it like certain people just won't be happy for you I don't think people really root for you like they sh you know they should they want to see you do good but not better than them and so that's where the jealousy and envy start and that showed me a lot this year like 2020 oh that'll be my next part 2022 has taught me a lot especially about friendships like people come and people go and that's fine like I understand that sometimes people are like boosters you know like um what did Tyler Perry say I got this from his one of his speeches so like you know the boosters on the air rocket sometimes when you go up those things they fall off because it can't go with you and so I understand that certain people can't go with me in my journey and some people just don't desire to be my friend because me personally I don't if you have a friend that like picks and chooses when they're gonna do for you or when they're gonna show up for you I'm petty so if you don't come to my birthday party and there's no good excuse like I'm I'm not gonna talk to you anymore like birthdays are very important certain things and certain events and certain parties and things like that are very 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 important to me so if people show you you know that they don't care about you and the things that that you care about then why are you still their friend why are you still with them that's weird to me and i'm not the type to be like beef with my friend like once i'm not the type of person to beef with people after we're no longer friends i'm just gonna remove you so that's my tip like why there's no need to start beef like i always have love for my previous friends like there'll always be love for that person or those people but I know that I don't want to keep up with them anymore because we have nothing in common. We're not friends anymore. So, like, why? I think it's strange when people add people that they know they don't like or they know that don't like them on social media. That's sociopathic. Please stop. If you do this, it's 2020. It's about to be 2023. Like, if you're friends with people on social media and you know that they don't like you and you know that you don't like them, y'all ain't friends or nothing like that, why would you do that? That's just me. Like, when I fall out with people and we're no longer friends, I'm going to unfriend you on every single social media account because I don't give a fuck about what you're doing anymore. That sounds a little harsh, but I'm not... I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't fake it. And you ain't got to fake it. Like, you ain't got a lot to kick it. I'm that type of person. I ain't got to fake it to kick it with nobody. So, but that's just me. Like, I ain't got to fake kick it. I don't fake kick it with nobody. If I don't fuck with you, I don't like you. I'm the type to tell you I don't fuck with you and I don't like you. And, we, you know, that's just me. And I understand that... There's different type of people. Me, personally, I've always been a super blunt person. It's going to hurt your feelings, but I don't give a fuck because you're going to know why you hurt my feelings. And then I don't like to show emotions. I think that's so weird. So, like, I don't really like expressing my emotions or feelings. I'm going to tell you what you do, done, but I'm not going to let you know it hurt me. You know what I mean? I'm not going to let you know, oh, that hurt my feelings. I'm just going to be like, you know what? We ain't got to chill no more. We ain't cool no more. I wish you the best. You know, when I could really be like, okay, well, you did this and it really hurt my feelings. I feel like you didn't care about me. And I ain't got, I, I, I just never been that type of person to do that. You know what I mean? Uh, I need to work on it, actually. My boyfriend told me I need to work on it. Mm. Mm. But yeah, y'all, I don't care how petty the situation is. If you feel like they should have told you happy motherfucking Kwanzaa or happy Arbor Day. And they didn't, and you want to cut them off, snip, snip? Who are they to tell you when your feelings are valid? Do you know what I mean? Because I don't play about me. If I don't have me, who else is going to have me? Nobody. Ain't nobody ever going to have you like you got you. Period. So even if you don't have friends, even if you don't have family, I understand. Like, I know how lonely it can get. Just pray through it. And God will place people in your life once you make room. 
And that's what I've learned. Like, I had to cut off certain people before I met my boyfriend. I had to be like, okay, I can't talk to this dude no more because I know it's not it's not right and he's not good for me. And he, he doesn't mean me well. Has called this dude. And then I feel like once you make space in your life, especially with God, like once he see you, okay, she made space for her man. So here you go. She made space for new genuine friends because she cleared out all the fake ones. So, you know, here you go. It's like that picture where, you know, God is asking for your small teddy bear and there's a huge one behind his back that you can't see. You just have to trust him. And I feel the same way with friendships. Like, think everything happens for a reason and people come and people go for a reason. And people show you who they really are. You just got to pay attention and listen. You just got to pay attention and listen. So, when they show you, because I'm the type of person, like, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. There'll never be a third time. So you got two times to fool me because I know everybody make mistakes. So the first time it's on you. The second time you mess up, it's on me. You know, it's on me and there'll never be a third time. You'll never have another chance to hurt me. Period. I'm not saying that you should beef with that person. I feel like you should just wish them well from afar. You don't have to tell them this or anything, but don't harbor any hate. Because one thing that happened to me, my cousin was like, oh, you should forgive them and you should forget it. And I agree, but you don't have to be, you ain't got to fake kicking and you ain't got to like chill with them or be friends with them just because you forgive them. You can forgive people from afar. So that's just me. I'm going to unfollow you on social medias. I don't want to see you. I'm not going to ask about you. I'm not going to talk about, you know, because it's, it's dead. Like you're essentially dead to me at this point. So... That's just me. You can forgive them if you would like. I would just say make sure that you're keeping account. Because a person can only... Don't let them fool you too many times. You're smart. Let's pay attention. They'll show you. Okay. So the next thing. I want to do lessons that I learned in 2022. And maybe this should be an, another video because I just really learned to let go and let God like I said as soon as I let my the dudes I was talking to go God sent me like the best man I could ever ask for and I'm not just saying it because he my man like I'm I would never settle and I pray to God that no one on here ever settles don't settle for a friendship a relationship or family your career finances just never settle and so I think that's why God blessed me so much. And that's why it took so long. Because I could have been had a man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I could have been had a man. But I know what type of man I was looking for. So wait on it and be patient. It's going to come. And I just wish and I hope that y'all let people go that are not meant to be in your life. Um, especially fake friends. If you have to question if they're a good friend, cut them off. That means that they're not. If you have to question if they're a real, genuine friend, cut them off. That means that they're not. You'll never have to question someone's authentic. How do you say that word? Genuineness. <laughs> you'll never. It's something that you'll never, ever, ever have to question. So don't ever forget that, y'all. Like, please. Someone said how to start a successful business and all of my eBooks and um, courses. I'm also gonna be having like business classes, helping y'all brainstorm different business ideas and stuff like that. All of that is going to be coming, hopefully, God, God willing and God speed by January, by my birthday. So, I'm working on it, y'all. How many times should you keep giving the same guy who keeps messing up? That's a really good question. Um, like I said, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Nowadays, I'm a one and done type of person. And that's why it never worked out with any of my other... People I was dating within these last four years of my singleness. Y'all, comment down below if you want me to talk about how to enjoy being single. How to enjoy being alone. Um, because even though I have a boyfriend now, like I said, I bought my house and I had to live here alone. There were many nights that I cried myself to sleep because I thought I was never going to find anyone. There were many nights I, I cried to God and said, Lord, please like help me. I'm so lonely and I'm so, you know... I'm lonely. Like, I have an amazing career. My business is doing great. I'm thriving. I'm healthy. I have joy. But at night, it's a different type of feeling when, like, you don't have anybody. 
you know what I'm saying, to talk to or hold you. So if you would like for me to do a video on like how to be alone and how to enjoy being alone, comment down below. I would definitely film that one this week because it's very important. It's something that I had to learn. But to answer your question, no more than two. But for me personally, it's one and done at my age. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm 25. I'm ready to get married. I'm ready to have children. Y'all know I want five kids. I'm ready to get married and stuff like this. So I don't have time for games. If you're playing games, that means for one, you don't. Okay, I don't agree with people say. You know how people say, like, if your man cheats, that means he doesn't like you or love you. And I disagree. That means he doesn't respect you. But, again, respect and love go hand in hand. So, I get it. But also, it's the same way where if we love God, then we wouldn't be sinning. So, I don't necessarily put it in that box because I've done it. I've loved someone and still cheated. And that's another story for another day. Comment down below if you want to hear it. I never did. I never talk about me. I always talk about these niggas cheating on me. But I never talked about me cheating on these niggas. Interesting. Because I cheats back. I'm going to have your motherfucking chest hurt. Okay. Mm-hmm. But, um. I'm going to have you not being able to breathe. So, if you ain't going to leave. This is my advice. If you're not going to leave the man, why bring it up? Don't let him know that he's cheating. Because in his head, he's like, damn, she know I'm cheating and she's still with me. I can continue to do it. Ignorance is bliss in this sense. If you ain't going to leave, shut up. You know what I'm saying? Especially if it's something that keeps happening over and over. I would address it the first time. Like I said, though, with me, there's there's a one and done. But I'm speaking for the general population because 90% of people ain't like me. 90% of the people ain't going to leave. I don't give a fuck if we just got married yesterday. I'm going tomorrow. But that's just me. I know my... You have to really know your worth. So, for, first of all, I need you to do some self-love and, like, healing and know your worth. Know that you're worthy. Know that you're worthy. Know that you're worthy of love and real, genuine love. Um, if you catch it the first time and you want to address it, that's cool. That's cool. That's fine and dandy. But fool you want, shame on him. If he fools you twice, it's a shame on you because you shouldn't have been a fool and you should have left the first time. And like I said, I'm very blunt. I'm very honest. And I know it might hurt y'all feelings. Well, I don't give a fuck. I ain't here to be y'all friend. I'm here to be, we're like family. I feel like everybody on my YouTube, we're family. So, even with my friends, I get them fucking blunt honesty as well. Like, don't ask me because I'm going to tell you the truth. Keep that in mind when you want me to talk about something. Oh, y'all want to sidetrack. I want to do like advice columns. So comment down below if you would like to send me your, like if I should do advice columns where people send me their stories and I tell them what I would do. I feel like I get pretty good advice. I feel like I get pretty good advice, okay? <laughs> comment down below. But anyway, um, that's what I would do. I look like a fool if you keep asking a man about the same thing over and over and not leave. You're giving him permission to run over you. So, you might want to just be Ray J, I mean, Ray, not Ray J, Ray Charles to bullshit and just not, like, not say nothing. So, um, I would say two. I used to say three strikes, you out, but fuck that shit, one strike, you out of here, period. But I guess it's up to you. Comment down below what y'all think, like, how many times, even in a marriage, because you made a vow before God, you know what I mean? So, if you ain't upholding your word, you think God want me to sit here and suffer and not know that I'm... That's why I don't get People like, oh, I'm fighting for my marriage. But why? Did God, why? That's embarrassing. I would, Lord, please don't ever, ever let me have to say that a day in my life. Because God doesn't want you to suffer. He loves you. And he loves you whole. He holy. He loves you for all that you are. Like, in your midst, in your darkest times. So, why would he want you to be with somebody that doesn't love you? That cheats on you and that doesn't respect you when he gives you all those things. And so, I don't care what the circumstance is, you know. You cheat one time and I'm, I'm gone. But it took me a while to get here because I stayed. And like I said, when I did stay, I cheated back. So, if you're going to at least not leave him, cheat back. Find somebody else. Okay. Your side dude may become a main dude. You never know. 
I hope so. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. That's it for now. <laughs> Comment down below what other videos you would like to see. Comment down below about the advice columns, if I should start doing those type of videos. And comment down below um, what you would like to see for next year. And um, if you would like for me to bring my boyfriend on here, comment down below what type of videos we can see. Keep in mind, I can't do pranks and stuff like that with him because you can't see his face. Until he asks me to be his wife and until he gets on one knee and puts the ring on it, you guys will not see. That's, that actually will be the first time y'all see him is when he proposed. So I hope he vlogs. Or records or something. So, um, other than that, <laughs> that's a wrap. That's a wrap, y'all. Thank y'all so much for being here. Don't forget to shop LacheyGreenwood.com. As I always say, you could have been anywhere, but you chose to be here with me. And for that, I thank you. Always remember to take it easy and love yours. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.